Okay, so welcome back to the quiz app series using G3. So if this is your first time or you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. It encourages me to make these tutorial videos for you guys to learn and watch. Now in this video, we're going to be fetching data from the API and we're going to be fetching these questions. Now, we had coded had coded the questions, but this time we're gonna fetch dynamic questions and we're gonna replace these ones and hopefully the quiz still works like we have set it up to. So let's go to a browser. Let's minimize this sound. I'm using Open Trivia API. Let's go to the API session. And uh, I can decide to choose any category, any difficulty, but I'm just going to choose computers as a category and I'll leave these other ones as it is. So we're fetching 10 questions. So let's just generate the URL. So we have this URL. I'm just going to copy it or paste it in the URL and hit enter. So you can see the values we get back. Uh, if we refresh, we get different, uh, we should get a different value. Let me refresh again. I didn't take note of that. Yeah. So we get a different question and uh, we have a correct answer, incorrect answer and all that. Now, one of the things I'm really noticing is that the format is different from us, but that's no problem. We are going to figure out how to map or change this to correspond to what we already have. But the first thing we need to do is actually fetch this into our app. Then we can talk of how to change the format. Okay, so let's go back to our VS code. Yes, cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'll create a new function just after I have my counter timer. Let me create a new function. Let's call it um fetch fetch questions from server quite long just explanation so this is going to be an async function because it's going to take a while so let's just put the keyword there like so and of course it's going to give us an error what's the error now we we kind of like made a function declaration and we didn't use it that's fine so just to get rid of that error i'll go to the unmounted and i'll say fetch questions from server so i just call that function when we mount the quiz so nothing's gonna happen in fact let me clear the console and just say console.log and uh, let me see, fetch questions from server. So we should see fetch questions from server. Now I'll just copy the URL. And uh, back here, I'll just do a simple fetch. So I'll say fetch. I'm using the fetch API. So fetch and that's, that's all kind of that we need to do so this will get the data but this might take a while to come back so we're going to use the then keyword let's go to a new line then so we're using the then because it returns a promise this fetch api or this fetch will return a promise so let's use the then to get what the response will be so then takes in a function and that function becomes a callback function so i'll just pass in the response and for now let's just console log the response let's save that okay good so it gets back a response and let me look at the suggestion okay so in here where i initially had the console log response what i would do is i actually return response.json or 
Okay, now I'm pretty sure this returns a promise. Okay, so what I would do to get the data itself out of this promise is that I will add another then. Let me bring this down a new line so it's easy to read. So where did it just then end it um, here? So I'll have another then. Then we'll also take an arrow function. So let me just say I pass in data and I'm going to console log console log the data. Let's see, let's see what we have. Okay, we have an error of console. Oof, I didn't even notice this. Okay, so we get back an object and the object has a response code and the results results actually contains the array we're looking for so we can console log data dot results like so good so it gives us back that array so what you could do here you can choose to use the structuring or you can just choose to leave it this way data dot results i'm going to leave it that way maybe during our cleanup time or clean up our code uh we might just make a change but I'll just leave this as data the results so I'll just say const new questions equal to data that results like so and I can choose to you know just cancel out new questions that's just to give us the same thing anyway and one of the things I mentioned earlier is that the way they arranged their own JSON result is different from the way we arranged ours, like the way we set up our questions. And we have kind of used this our own format to create the way the quiz actually works. So it's more logical that we change the way their own JSON is like the response we get, we change the ways arranged rather than going to change everything that we've done so far. So we're going to use the the method, the array method of uh, called map to map the results to set things how you want it to be using a particular array. So the array in this case is this one, data the results. So we're going to map it to how else looks like okay so our questions question question seems like we don't have a problem with that we don't need to kind of change the way it is we can as well ignore these other ones let me just get rid of that so this is where our concern is our answer just takes in a number and with this number we tell me if it's this first one second one third one or fourth one that is the different correct answer the correct answer is a word and here we have incorrect answer so what we need to do is we need to map all of this incorrect answers and correct answer to form an array of choices and then we create um, based on where the correct answer falls in these choices we have our answer that might not make so much sense now, but let's let's do that in practice. It might make uh, some sense. So let's get down to where we have a fetch from server, fetch questions from server. So where I have data dot results, I am going to just map it from here. So data dot results, and let me put let me put a comment here. Let's see map json to fit our own arrangement maybe not the best comment so let's put dot map now dot map is going to take in each of this object and rearrange it so it takes in a function a callback function so let's just have that down in the form of an arrow function 
and then I'll pass in an argument here and let's call it uh, I can call it um, let's say I don't know what to call it now server question okay server question referring to the question that's coming from the server and uh, okay so what we do is we're going to uh, I'm going to return you know what I've not created it but let me just create something called const uh, let's call it arranged question All right so arranged question is going to be more like an empty object which is the arranged question we want from their own server question so I'm going to return normally in map you return the new array you want so I'm just going to return that so now it's empty I remember we said if you look at the untitled document that I created we didn't have any problem with the question so we can just do a direct mapping so arrange question the object where we have or where we need question is just going to be equal to server question dot question so the question that comes from the server already has this key value of question and has a value here so we're not making any change so the new one we're returning this question is going to just be equal to this one so that's what we did here so we still have remember we still have choices although nothing yet for it let me put a comma here and uh, how did we set it up again and answer so we're trying to create this arranged question out of whatever the server is or whatever the server gave gave us so let's say let me create a variable called choices and say is equal to the server question dot incorrect answers now we know that the one that comes from the server has incorrect answers but just has three options okay but then for now we just said okay let these choices just be equal to those three choices for now okay so now let us deal with the answer does this this bit here I come down here and say arrange question arrange question dot answer it's going to be equal to any random number from one to four so the idea is yes we have three incorrect answers but the fourth one is going to be the correct answer so therefore i know let me go back to my untitled i know i am going to create an array that has four options although three of them are incorrect so now I can just decide, okay, what should the answer be? Should it be in number one? Should it be number two? Should it be number three or number four? So when I decide that the answer should be any of those numbers, I can now decide where I'll place that answer in the array I want to create. That's the array of four choices. For example, I like do a random stuff and two is chosen. Then let's assume let me take away this java here so let's assume these three choices were the incorrect ones and i chose the answer to be at position number two i'll come after python and then i'll place the correct answer here okay i believe that makes sense so let's go back to our home so what i need to do now is just to generate a random number from one to four so i will do that by saying math capital m random uh match random chooses a number from 0 to 0 0.99 0 to 1 actually but it doesn't pick the one so to get my random numbers from one now to four so i'll multiply this by four just give a space here and what i'll do is since this will give me decimal numbers i'll put it let me cut this first i'll put it in the math floor 
so math flow would uh, if it's two point something is gonna be two if it's three point something is gonna be three and stuff and then I need to add plus one so that we can actually get four so if the value of this math flow random times four could be zero then we add one becomes one because the way we set up our quiz we're actually counting the arrays like one two three four now not with zero one two three four we didn't start from zero so now we've decided that the answer is going to be a number between one and four so whatever the answer is we are going to use that answer and kind of like decide where we add the correct answer okay let me just try and get rid of these errors so let's come down here and see a range question dot dot choice or the choices is equal to choices so i just messed up this array this variable name so this is now any number from one to four and arranged question choices is equal to choices which at this point is only just the incorrect answers which are just three now this decides where we want to add add the correct answer so this could either be one two three or four now using this now i am going to say okay you choices that are you that is um you know let me do it just after here good i'll say you choices that you just incorrect answers i want to now add the correct answer in you so I'll use the splice method and what the splice does is we we choose the start number so remember that our start not like our answer is counting from one but in an actual array you actually start counting from zero so what i would do here is whatever this number is i can just copy it the start number or where we want to add the the thing we're adding to the array i'll just say that minus one so if this gives us one right one minus one is zero that means we're adding the answer at the beginning of the array if this is two so we'll do two minus one that means we're adding it at the second part in the array yeah so in our splice we pass the first argument that says where do you want to add the stuff and uh, comma i'll put zero because i don't want to remove anything so they just leave it as zero then the next thing we're going to add is the the value itself that we are adding okay we we'll define the position where we want it we said we're not removing anything so what is the value actually that we're adding the value we're adding is the server question dot let me be sure untitled dot correct answer correct answer okay so let us go to our console let me just delete this and refresh so we get an error somewhere choices is undefined choices choices we define it here several questions in double r i believe incorrect answers yes okay so we actually made a mistake we didn't spell something correctly so let's see okay so where i'm logging these questions console log question let me put a notice here so that i know let's see new formatted questions i'll save so where we have new formatted questions if i were to open that up it should now be in line with how we have our own so okay this is just two let me go to the one that has good so this one has choices choices is four the answer is the third one and we have the question okay so that works fine so what we're going to do now it's uh, let me just make sure that i'm still inside my den so just after where i have my console or before i have my console anyone i just hit enter 
and then I'm going to say questions dot value. Now question dot not the values the value is equal to this new questions we have. Okay, now this questions that value is this one right here that we defined here. This one. Okay, so I'm just going to. I could get rid of all of this. We don't need any more. We can just have a, an empty questions. And it's going to say all done because it's out of questions. So, what we're going to do, or well, what is going on now, is that. You can see it's attempting to load the questions way before it's even fetching the data. So what I'll do is I want is in such a way that the question is gotten before it starts to load the question. So I'm going to take this to I'm going to cut it. And after I've set my question value, then I hit enter. Then I want to load and I want to start counting down. So I'll click on save. So in refresh, you can see that the questions are being fetched and arranged properly. Now, one of the things we're going to have, one of the issues I can see here is the formatting of the questions. I'll just refresh. So we'll get to fix that later. So in the next video, we are going to be working on the score. Make sure that the score is being displayed when the game is over or when you're out of time and also work on the done and retry buttons so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have a question please don't forget to leave it in the comment section so that i can look at it and attend to it so see you guys in the next video